The importance of trust and surrender in mediumship and working with spirit. For me, mediumship is a profound journey of connection, not just with the spirit world, but also with oneself. And central to this journey are the two pillars, the pillars of trust and surrender. For those who walk the path of mediumship or are curious about the deep bond between a medium and the spirit world, understanding the importance of these elements for me is crucial. In this blog, we're going to delve into the significance of trust and surrender in mediumship and provide a simple meditation to help you to connect with your spirit guides. Like any relationship, biggest foundation is trust. Trust in the context of mediumship is multifaceted. Firstly, it's the trust the medium places in the spirit world. It's the belief that the spirit world will come through with accurate and meaningful messages. And this trust is essential because doubt can create a barrier, inhibiting the free flow of communication and surrendering to our subconscious mind. Secondly, trust also pertains to the relationship with oneself. A medium must trust their abilities, their intuition, and their senses they receive. This self-trust is developed through practice, through experience and validation over time. And finally, trust extends to those receiving the messages. They must trust the medium and the process to open themselves up from messages from the spiritual world. This mutual trust creates an energy, an energy that facilitates even clearer communication. But trust is one thing. Embracing surrender is another. Well, trust is about belief and confidence. Surrender is about letting go. In mediumship, surrender means letting go of the need to control the session, the outcomes, or the messages that come through. It's about allowing the spirit world to take the lead. Surrendering doesn't mean becoming passive. It means becoming an open vessel, free from the clutter of preconceived notions or expectations. It's in this state of openness the spirit world can communicate more effectively. A medium who has yet to learn the art of surrender may inadvertently block messages or worse, misinterpret them or filter them. Just as a radio needs to be correctly tuned in to pick up a radio station, a medium needs to be in the state of surrender for a the receptiveness to pick up the clear messages from the spirit world. But if you have trust, you have surrender, you've then got to realize that this is a team game. This is about working alongside your spirit guides. Every medium, every person has spirit guides. Benevolent spiritual entities that aid in the process of our journey with mediumship and in our lives. These guides, if you like, act as intermediaries. They facilitate the connection between the medium and the spirits trying to communicate. Trusting and surrendering to these guides for me is crucial. Ronnie has been with me since day dot, and we have an amazing relationship. But building that relationship with one spirit or guide is akin to any other relationship. Again, these things require time and patience and mutual understanding. The deeper bond the clearer the message is. And these bonds take time to nurture, to cultivate, to expand. Not one meditation is going to completely unlock your spiritual ability. But over practice, over time, trusting, surrendering, and letting things go, without the need to know everything, without the need to put the human in front, labeling, questioning, doubting, fearing. That's the art of mediumship. For me, mediumship is a gift due to the fact that we breathe, not due to the fact of your lineage, where you're from, whether you have a special blessing. It's about your gift of breath. If we're breathing, it is more right than wrong. So let's do a little bit of a meditation here to connect with your spirit guides and foster some trust. So, as always, I want you to find that quiet space where you're not going to be disturbed. Sitting or lying down comfortably. Close your eyes. Focus your attention on your breath. 
check in with yourself. How do you feel? How does it feel to sit in your seat? Are you comfortable? Can you be even more comfortable? We're going to begin by taking three deep breaths. We're going to inhale through our nose and we're going to exhale through our mouth. And as we inhale and exhale, I want you to visualize these roots extending from your feet deep into the earth, grounding and anchoring you. Take a nice deep breath in. Hold it at the top for a second and then let it go. Take another nice deep breath in. Hold it at the top and then let it go. And one more deep breath in. Hold it at the top and then let it go. And just feel those roots extending from your feet now down into the earth. Feel yourself grounding and anchoring. And I want you to just imagine this beautiful white light around you, surrounding you. Just keeping you in this really safe and secure environment. I don't believe in anything apart from love and light. But this just gives us that beautiful feeling of being safe and hugged and secure. Allowing us to remove the doubt and the fear. And here, in this beautiful space, we set our intention. We set our intention to connect with our spirit guides. Mentally or verbally, I just want you to say, I wish to connect with my spirit guide in love and light. I wish to connect with my spirit guide in love and light. And then just sit, focusing on your breath. Just breathing in and breathing out creating this wonderful spiritual space around you, feeling the energy building. Being able to sit in this space unconditionally, trusting and surrendering, is the key to mediumship. An altered state of consciousness, pushing out your awareness with the intention, trusting and surrendering. Just be here for a moment. Maybe hearing the sounds around you, but every time you hear a sound or a thought comes in, it amplifies your connection. It takes you deeper. Deeper into this space of letting go. And I'd like you just to envision yourself in a beautiful garden. See it how you want. With the plants, the trees, the flowers, the birds, the bees. Just visualize it all very clear and concise. And as you walk into this space, you notice a figure in the distance. And this figure is your spirit guide. And as you start to walk towards them, they start to become clearer. And I want you just to take a note of their appearances and any feelings or sensations that you may experience. As you get even closer, I want you to greet your spirit guide. You can ask them their name or... Do they have any messages for you? What do they need to do for you and what can you do for them? And in the same way we express our gratitude for the guidance. Trust, surrender, and allow these messages to flow to you without judgment. Trust that you receive these messages for your highest good. And I'm going to leave you here now for a little while and I'll be back soon.
as always in these beautiful moments we thank our spirit guide and we watch them as they retreat into the serene landscape taking with them any doubts any fears anything that no longer serves you but they've built the trust you've learned to surrender you've started the journey to cultivate to expand to grow And visualize this white light that's been surrounding you again and come back to your chair and imagine the roots from your feet slowly retracting from the ground, slowly becoming aware of your surroundings. And when you're ready, you could open your eyes. Remember, connecting with your spirit guide is a journey. The more you practice, the deeper your connection. The more you practice, the deeper the understanding. The more you practice, the bigger the relationship. For me, mediumship is a sacred dance of trust and surrender. A medium can serve as a beautiful, authentic bridge between the realms by fostering a relationship based on these principles. Based on these principles with the spirit world and spirit guides. Embracing trust and surrender ensures the integrity, brings clarity, brings a depth of the messages that you receive. Which ultimately can offer solace, guidance and the insight to those in need. I hope you've enjoyed this meditation and I very rarely at the end of these things talk about the products and services that I offer but I think it's important at this point to say julianjenkins.me is my website if you go on there you can see that I'm offering some one-to-one -one sessions for my spirit hours but I'm also offering a mediumship accreditation it starts again in September, October, November and for the first time I'm also offering a trans mediumship accreditation all of these things will help you to do everything that I've just discussed in a way that I can share my experiences over the last 30 years and my journey to trust and surrender. So have a check on my website, www.julianjenkins.me. Thank you for listening. I hope it's helped you in some way. God bless you. Be love and give love and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.